the boo at Honda Center because this is unpopular. Yeah, and I, I agree. I, I still don't understand. The Anaheim Ducks got screwed by the NHL. For a little context, the Ducks found themselves down in the latter end of the first with a nice give and go behind the net from Lundell to Lusterinen to open the scoring, which was followed with another just three minutes later from Ekman Larson with his fifth of the year now off the post and in as the Cats took a two goal lead into the second. With that said, after a scoreless second, we head over to the third where the Ducks just needed one to make this a game and an Ekblad tripping penalty gave them that opportunity. Sure enough, Vetrano, who's been having himself a season there to mop up the rebounds would score to make it just a one goal game with plenty of time on the clock. Just three minutes later it's Silverberg around the back and did he get it? There's a frenzy, plays called dead but upon closer inspection that sure looks like a goal. Now importantly they did not call it a goal on the ice which no problem I mean send it up to Toronto because look at it the puck is on edge and it crosses the line right? It would take them close to seven minutes to look at and I don't know what they were looking at because look at this frame I'll draw a line right there is that a goal or not I see white they would show it in the arena and the fans got restless because they were seeing the same thing but quickly tell me your thoughts below I want to hear what you have to say because after the review Toronto didn't see it that way and it's no goal oh boy staying in it And these chants would continue for the rest of the game. And just quickly, regardless of what you think, I myself am not even a Ducks fan. I just felt like this was a goal. But again, regardless, this should be more definitive. There is no reason the league can't get this right and show fans the proof. It would seem like by now the NHL would have come up with something. Tennis is able to know immediately when the ball is out of bounds, whether it's chip technology, lasers or sensors or some sort of even just a clear picture that doesn't make it impossible to tell. I mean, seriously. In the end, with a chorus of boos holding off the offensive put on by the Ducks, who outshot Florida 15-3 in the third, it was the Cats who would take the dub, and they're playing well. Now 11-5-1, 7-2-1 in their last 10, they look like a good team. And what was definitely noteworthy in this one was early in the third, Barkov knee-to-knee -knee with Lacombe goes down, and that looks painful as he would leave the ice not good. That is the same knee from last year so hopefully he's okay but yeah just a short one here i just wanted to highlight how i think the ducks got screwed but you guys let me know your thoughts down below as always thank you so much for watching i appreciate it very much and i will see you in the next one